so we're talking today about the 20% down myth. And a lot of people think that they need 20% down. And I thought of this, Jimmy, and I, I for the first time, since the interest rates got so low, does, do you, have you know, and I, I have no um, experience here with this question. So maybe you do, but um, is the mortgage insurance lower too now? Is the rate lower or the amount of, if they don't put 20% down? I haven't heard that. Well, there's still other ways for them to get out. If they allow for the appraisal contingency and they, and they shorten that up or they take it out altogether, they still have to qualify for the loan. And if the lender is going to say, look, if it doesn't appraise and you don't have the extra money, I'm going to give you a decline letter on your loan. So you might not be getting out based on the appraisal, but you're going to get out based on the fact that you can't qualify because you don't have the cash. So I would talk to my lender if, can I get a decline letter from you that says I can't get my loan if the appraisal doesn't come in? Because if I leave the appraisal contingency in there, I'm going to get blown out. That's a good idea. So, so how would you word that? Well, there's obviously, there's already a paragraph in there that says buyer's loan uh, contingency is different than the appraisal contingency and they're both in there. So yes. usually a lot of agents are putting 21 days for the appraisal and 30 days for the loan. If you take out the appraisal, you still have 30 days for the loan. Just get your appraisal done. And if it doesn't come in, if the lender says, I'm sorry, I can't give you the loan. Okay. I got blown out on the loan contingency, not yeah. on the appraisal. So you have to be consistent when applying for a mortgage. And so you need to be just sure to discuss this, you know, with, um, with any changes in your income as well. So uh, you don't want to change your bank accounts. You don't want to apply for new credit cards. And you don't make any large purchases like a car or furniture. <clears throat> and you don't deposit cash into your bank accounts before speaking with your bank or lender. Be ready to move quickly is uh, the number three. And number three, so um, as soon as you find the right home for your needs, be prepared to submit the offer as quickly as possible. You yeah, know, if your buyer makes three full price offers and they don't get any of those three houses, they start wondering about your skills. So you've yeah. got to tell them, look, this is the reality of the marketplace right now. We might make 10 offers before we even get one. Right. So then you only make three and they think you're great. But if you don't tell them that and you make three full price offers, they're looking for another agent. We put a letter into the group, the letter, uh, the home buying letter that once you know that your buyer wants to buy in a particular neighborhood, that you, you, you send a letter to the neighborhood saying that you have a qualified buyer and uh, and tell them, you know, that uh, you would like to know if they want to buy their home. And then you tell them a little bit about your qualified buyer, you know, like they like the school district so that what you're trying to do in the little paragraph about your buyer is legitimatize the fact that this is a real person. I'm not just looking for listings. I'm looking for a home to for my my buyer to buy. And you need to just put that in there. Uh, I, that's open for you and your verbiage. But the but the letter is there. So at least get your imagination kicking in so that once you know the neighborhood that they want to buy in, you send that letter to everybody and just see what happens or go door knocking. Ta -ta. We have cybersecurity class next Thursday, March 25th from 10 to 1. Um, if you come to the classroom, just bring a mask and you get a free lunch. Did we find out if you have to wear a mask if you've been vaccinated? Did somebody find that out for us? I haven't heard a definitive answer, no. Yeah, me either. So anyway, um, wear a mask, you get a free lunch. 